Passwords on content, folders, quizzes, discussions, etc. in Angel will only be retained on certain content and desire to learn, including quizzes, Dropboxes, and discussions. Passwords will not be retained on modules, formerly folders, in desire to learn. So if you would like to conditionally release modules, I'm going to try to show you in this tutorial how easy it is to do it in desire to learn. So I'm in my Angel course here, and I have this start here quiz. So I want the students to get 100% on this before they'll see any content. And the way it works in Angel is you have this, uh, this password on there, and after they get the 100%, it unlocks this content. So these locks on the modules, on the folders, which are modules in Desire to Learn, or on the individual uh, content in Angel, which are topics, does not get retained. So I'm going to go ahead over to my Desire to Learn course. To get to the content, you would click on the content drop down, click content. How you can go ahead and create something like this, this is a very simple one in here. Um, so you'll see in here, here's my modules, individual modules, and they have no, no folder, I mean no locks on them, and no passwords. So what I want here is this start here quiz, I want my content in my course, the, this each of these modules to open up once the student gets 100% on the particular Start Here quiz. So how does this work? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead to this Bulk Edit. This Bulk Edit is a real nice feature in Desire to Learn um, on the Table of Contents and in the Modules area that lets me, in, a, in one spot, just scroll down and do restrictions, add dates, and other kinds of things add, you know, within the modules. So here's my important stuff module, and it doesn't have any dates and restrictions because I want this to be, I want this to be open for the student. So I'm going to go to this first module, and I don't want the students to see th this module until they get 100% on that Start Here quiz. So what I do is I put my mouse over this Add Dates and Restrictions and click on that. Another nice feature in Desire to Learn is that I can don't have to click anywhere else. I just go into here and it opens it up. You're going to see something in here called release conditions. I'm going to go ahead and click on create for my release condition. And I'm going to choose the condition type. In this case, it's going to be a score on a quiz. And then I'm going to select the quiz. I only have one quiz in this course, but if you have multiple quizzes, you could choose whatever one you want. And then I have certain criteria. Um, whether it can be less than or equal to, a less than, greater than or equal to, or so on. In this case, I want it to be equal to 100%. And then I'm going to click Create. And here's a very important step in this process, because you can actually create multiple conditions in here. And you can say, have an or, in other words, if this condition or this condition or this condition is met, then that stuff will happen. In this case, it's one simple condition, and it's real important to click Update on that. Once I click Update, one of the other nice features in Desire to Learn is that you get to see all conditions are met and it tells you what the condition is with, for that specific module or for that individual specific topic. And then all I have to do now is go down to the next one and I click on Add and Date Restrictions. Again, I'm still in the bulk edit. And what's really nice here is I don't have to recreate that condition because that condition is the same for each one of these modules. So all I have to do here is now click on Browse. It'll show me any of the conditions that I have created. I choose that, and I can filter it by the specific tool if I need to. I go click Attach, and I click Update, and it's done. And then I go down to the next module, in this case, this one. And then I go to Browse, and you get the idea. I just click that, click Attach, and click Update. Again, Update's the important factor feature there and you'll get to see the restrictions saved successfully and then I go to the next one and continue on so on down the line. Once I get all of the conditions that I want in there I just go back up to the top and click done editing and now there's a restriction on there. Now from the student perspective I'm going to click on my name up here where my profile would be and I click on view as a student. So now to view this from the student perspective, I'm going to go ahead and click on Content Browser. And what's nice here is that the student will get to see 
these items or, or won't be able to see the items that I put restrictions on until they get 100% on the quiz. So you can see I can come in here and I can go ahead and take this quiz and once I get the 100% those restrictions have all been met. And then I will be able to see the content that will now open up for them. So that's how you can actually put some conditions and kind of recreate what you've done in Angel um, with locks and unlocking content.